all right what's going on everyone and welcome back to more elder scrolls online so we are continuing on with the main story going to glimmer tarn and i just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the support i know uh eso is not as popular as bdo but for everyone who's watching this hopefully you guys are enjoying the series so far and um yeah so we are at four out of six um we got the delves done this one so it was bugged and well the way it works is like if you get into the right instance the boss will spawn if you don't get into the right instance it's just invisible so i got the lucky one while i was doing my dailies over here but with that said time to go into the main story again I think that's up but yeah in case you're new first video you've seen of mine there's a link in the description to the playlist you could watch everything from the beginning at your own pace so don't feel rushed or anything why are the spirits of the island in such distress the very spirits all around us cry out in fear and sorrow even free says they sense a change in the sacred seeds tell me about the battle in Bastyr. Is Stefan all right? I fear something terrible has happened. Archdruid Raval is dead? I... I knew something had gone wrong. The spirits of nature that surround Glimmer Tarn were acting so strangely. But if the Archdruids are dead, what happened to the Sacred Seeds? Blight and damnation. Free told me they sensed the seeds stirring, moving. I couldn't think of any good reason to account for that, and neither could Free. But what about Bastyr? Does the city still stand? At least something good has come of all this. But poor Stefan. His father wasn't a friend to the Druids, but he mostly left us alone. Unlike some of his predecessors. Free said they felt the seeds calling. Maybe they can help us track them down. I knew this had to do with the prophecy, the dream of Kassarain. But for anyone to proclaim themselves the Druid King, even an Archdruid, it's just unheard of. That isn't how it's supposed to work. Talk to Free. See if they still sense the seeds. I... I don't know. And our other Archdruids died in the attack on the Dreyfa. At some point, I'll need to send for an Elder or Archdruid from High Isle. But for now, we're on our own. In the meantime, I'll do my best to lead the way Raval taught me. One thing I've been looking at is, like, if you look at her earring, it has the thing in the back. So, man, that has got to be a huge hole where that earring goes in. That which dreamed through seasons uncounted now awakens. The sacred seeds sing to me. Together now. They find their voice. They tell me to come to them. Soon, I must answer. You do not hear their song? I hear it. Yes, I can guide you to the seeds. They are my purpose. I cannot be kept from my purpose. Bound. Yet, there is choice. What is your purpose? I don't know, dude. In the direction of the rising sun, the point on the aisle where that first happens, I will help you find the seeds and keep them safe until crown, staff, and gauntlet must flower. That time is soon. It is not for me to tell seeds not to grow. Go, friend. Toward the sunrise, toward the song. I will walk with Druid Thoral, and we shall meet you by the sanctum of the last Druid King, Ivyhame. No, before they were distant, quiet, whispers and dreams. Now that the seeds are together, they stir again. They are finding their voices remembering what they are calling out to me 
Seeds cannot unsprout, even if I ask them nicely. The seeds are together. I do not think they will want to part again, not before crown, staff, and gauntlet are regrown. If this is the appointed season, the seeds will grow. If it is not, no power can make them act against their nature. It would be wrong for Orlaith to take crown, staff, and gauntlet. Bad. But it is also wrong to deny growth when the season is upon them. How can I choose between wrongs? I have not learned to do that. Go on ahead. Free and I will meet you near Ivyhame. Okay. So apparently, to get the last Tale of Tales of Tribute card, you have to do the quest line. And I only need one more, so that's good. We're going to get it. I actually had a lot of fun with Tales of Tribute when that came out. But I know, like, card games, not for everyone. I enjoy it, though. It's always give and take with you, isn't it? Fire song coming and going as bold as you please. Or Leith is up to something. Be careful. There are more fire song druids here than I expected. Archdruid Orlaith must be planning something big to bring this many of her circle from Ithalon. Free senses the seeds within the veil. After all the trouble Orlaith caused to get them, she won't let them out of her sight. There's a door at the heart of Ivyhame. A place of the Druid King. It hasn't been opened in centuries. Maybe she's there? The Ivy Throne, or so the legends say where the last druid king held court. If she really seeks to become the new king, that's a good place to start. You and Free check out the door while I scout the rest of the Vale. I'll catch up with you later. While I take a look around the rest of the Vale, you and Free find the door to the Ivy Throne. It's east of here, almost to the coast. We need to find Archdruid Orlaith and recover the sacred seeds. Good luck, friend, and guard Free well. For all my time studying the history of Druid King Kasserain, that's been one of my primary questions. Is the Ivy Throne a metaphor? Is there an actual throne? Like the one High King Emmerich sits upon? We just don't know for sure. Okay, um... Oh, it kind of blended in with that other quest that we have to do. Eventually, we'll get the 100%. We're actually almost done. <clears throat> I assume there's two more main stories. Then we got to do the town quests over here and here. And uh, there's probably some like epilogue stuff afterwards. So. Pretty quick. Is that at the top of the mountain? Oh, I see it. Uh, Hold up. Let me get... Let me see if I got this. Oh boy. Probably gonna have to go around realistically. Archdruid. The seeds won't open the door. Here, we've waited behind enough the time here. I must return to Ithalon. The seeds. Gone. So close, but now out of reach. Archdruid understands nothing. The seeds cannot be commanded. They must be asked. Invited. 
I sense another song here. Very old. It calls to me. Long ago, mortal hands taught the stones of this place a song. A promise. A greeting. Not a song for mortals. A song for... Me. I must look upon the door in the hillside. Yes, the sealed door that Laurel spoke of. The door the fire song Archer Druid could not open at the top of these steps. The song of this place calls to me. There must be a way inside. Let us find it. Got you, fam. Those are actually really cool, these Phoenix moths. They look like they're, uh... Well, obviously, I was gonna say on fire, and they are, but, like... Locked <laughs> ancient power. But the stones sing me the key. Listen to the song only I can hear. Excuse Find me? the three druid stones and awaken them. On the hills around us, search north, west, find, turn. Then the door will open, open for me. Uh, north, west, find, turn. Listen. Right, got it. He. Oh. Okay, that's not the way. We, uh... It's kind of... The longest route possible. The stone awakens. The song grows louder. That does not look safe. I had to think about that one for a second. I was like, well, is it worth it? Probably. Good. That stone wakes too. Turn to the sealed door. Um. Okay. How do we get back over there? Oh, do we have to cross the bridge again? Ah, that's the intended route. Nice, nice. Fun fact, if you are on a mount while, uh, and you get, like, grappled, you don't get grappled. God, where's the NPC? What am I in combat with? I 
I'm at your service. Let us go inside, friend of Laurel. I have never been here, yet it feels familiar. These stones were told to remember King Kasserain and to wait for me. Yes, the song is louder in here, more insistent. It wants to fulfill its purpose, like me, like the seeds. The song is from King Kasserain's season, but it is not from the Druid King. Not exactly. A little. His voice calling me from the green. The song of his magic. Strong and good. He gave me into the care of the weirds before my eyes ever opened to the light of this world. They tended me while I dreamed. Until the fire song woke me. The fire song found my bower. They tore me from my slumber with words of binding, compulsion. I was young. I could not refuse. But Druid Laurel stopped them. They did not bind me. I can still choose. She brought me to Galen. Let me grow. Understanding. I was summoned to quicken the seeds, crown, staff, and gauntlet, but I do not know why King Kasserine made them sleep, so how can I know when to wake them? We should explore. Learn. I will follow you. The song I feel in these old stones, it comes from somewhere ahead. We should keep going. Explore. Listen. Learn. Okay, let's do this. The song calls to me. Touch the moat. Guard up. Get moving. We got a zoom zoom buff. These creatures were called to protect this place. They have grown wild. Fierce. <laughs> A hall within the hill. The court of the Druid King. The song is clearer now. Above us, toward the rising sun. Ooh, that's kind of nice looking. Own. Careful, friend of Laurel. I sense a powerful guardian nearby. Let's do this together. The song is strong here. Touch the moat and see what I see. You don't want to do this. This stone tablet records Castle Rain's final dream. Dark betrayal followed by seeds of hope. We have punished the guilty, stricken their names. To heal we forget, but the sower must remember. Enter the garden. Come, friend of Laurel. The garden is this way. Why did the song lead me here? Touch the moat, Laurel friend. I prepared a cauldron and planted three herbs in this garden. The sower knows the elixir of Ifre's thoughts. Mix, drink, and see what I saw the day the druid king died. I am the sower, and I remember this elixir. Come talk with me. The elder foresaw this day. When I would be drawn to his song, and that I would not be alone. This elixir, 
It is the same as a potion the weirds used to commune with me while I slumbered. It connects the now to the then, the here to the there. Though I slumbered, I learned much from my time with the weirds. They would drink the elixir and commune with me, teach, talk, listen. Gather herbs from each part of the garden, and I will create the elixir. It will show us what the Elder wants us to see. We will become a dream, a memory, and in that way, we will remember. But it is you who must drink. Only a mortal vessel can understand a mortal memory. I will see, too, through you. Ooh, that's deep. Fawn's tongue, a potent ward against evil. Foxglove, a mere pinch weakens the boundary between death bell. A taste, let's place the herbs in the corner. Place the herbs. Good. Now place the herbs into the cult. Something else is needed. Something of mine. Now drink. Together, we will walk in Elder Avon's memories. Uh, no. You just pull out a cup. All right. That's kind of cool. Elder Avon, the day I hoped to avert is upon us. A hunger for power will destroy everything we hope to build here in the archipelago. Now druids slay druids, fighting over a throne like the very elves we left behind on the mainland. I must end this. Has it been so long since you served as my apprentice, Avon? Have you forgotten the temple of Iphelon? Our misguided brothers and sisters defile this most hallowed place with their violence. Followers of the All Wither among the Firesong Circle. While most of that circle served the cycle of creation, those who revere the All Wither worship only death and decay. They seek to seize the Ivy Throne, to lead us into an age of unending darkness. I must return my regalia, crown, staff, and gauntlet to Ifray. The season of the Druid King must end for now. Meanwhile, we need to make preparations so my dream comes to pass. Escort me to Elder Verleen in the ritual chamber. This ends today. The ritual chamber lies to the south. Take the passage that leads up. Be on your guard, old friend. The followers of the All Wither are already inside the temple. We must return the regalia to Ifre before they stop us. Is it up or down? I am with you, Oral friend. You are Elder Avon. And there is King Kasserain. I remember him. I guess it didn't even matter. Up here, Avon. Elder Verlene waits. The Druid the King is older. Careworn. Many seasons passed since he left me with the weirds. Begin the ritual at once, Elder Verlene. Elder Avon, I require your assistance. 
If you are certain, my king. Yet I wish there was another way. The Temple of Iphelon. Elder Verlin has the regalia and will begin the ritual. I hope that when I laid down my authority, when I left the throne for the forest, the shadow over our people would have passed. Now I see that more is required. Will you aid me, old friend? Remember everything you see, Haven. When the prophecy is fulfilled and a new king arises, the seeds must be brought here and blessed by the sower I spoke of in my dream. You must preserve this moment to instruct the sower. Now, go help Verlin. We need the light of the moons to shine upon the sacred pools in this chamber. Mara's tear and Shandar's sorrow must witness and sanctify our deeds this night. Elder Verlin can tell you what to do. I must prepare myself. I fear the Druid King is making a mistake. That's a hairstyle. These symbols are gifts from Ifre. For centuries, our kings have worn them with wisdom and mercy. I begged Kasserain not to take them from those who come after us. But he insists. If we must do this, then yes, we need the light of Mara's tear and Shandar's sorrow. On each side of the balcony stands a druid stone. Turn them both to face the sacred pool. That will call the light of the moons to sanctify this place. I see one of the two objectives. I don't. Oh. Let's see. Ifray, hear us. Return crown, staff, and gauntlet to the seeds from whence they came. This is folly, Kasserain. You leave me no choice. All wither, guide my blade. Ah! Betrayed! Why, Verlin? Begone! I banish you! Man just got yeeted. The followers of the All Wither. More insidious than I thought. A poison blade in the hand of a trusted friend. This proves I was right. Crown, staff, gauntlet. They must return to the green. You must help me, Avon. Gather the sacred seeds. Help me summon Erdir the Guardian. A powerful ally for the sower. A protector to ensure that only a worthy king regrows the seeds. Give one seed to each druid circle to guard, to keep. Oak to Elder Tide. Rowan to Stone Law, Ash for the fire song untainted by the All Wither. One last thing. Go to the Ivy Throne. Seal it. No one must enter until the Sower awakens. Thank you, my old friend. Take the seeds. Go to the center of the chamber. 
touch the moat of light. It's like, you know that trust no one, not even yourself meme? Yeah, that's this. the moat and I will summon Erdir the guardian farewell old friend this temple becomes my tomb deliver the seeds and seal the ivy throne. From the then to the now. Come, let us speak of what we saw. Dream. Memory. I walked with Elder Avon just as you did. I saw the one who called me from the green. Kasserain, the Druid King. I understand much more now. Was not Udir the Guardian wonderful? Wild and fierce. A spirit called from the green, like I was. It is bound to protect Crown, Staff, and Gauntlet. The fire song risk much to awaken its anger. Erdir waits, as I did. The fire song must return the seeds to the place we saw in the then, the temple of Ithalon. I know how to call Erdir a song of defense. It is my choice. Perhaps she may think she can bind Erdir. Command it with crown, staff, and gauntlet. But King Kasserain told some spirits to make their own choices. I am one. Erdir is another. We should find Druid Laurel. She will know what to do next. Druid Laurel studies the old lore. Young, yet wise. We must tell her what we learn from the Elder's memory. Let us try this passage. I sense gentle wind and open sky beyond. It's actually a really interesting quest. Donut. Lore book. Fire song druids. Dead. Laurel's staff. Where is Laurel? Oh no. Take the staff, Laurel friend. Sh I understand the pattern of what occurred. Druid Laurel was scouting. Came upon these fire song druids. They fought. She was overpowered. Taken away. The leaves tremble for her. So do I. I no longer sense Druid Laurel nearby. If the Fire Song took her, they would go to Arch Druid Orlaith, to Iphalon. A ploy, I think, to capture me. I would like to see the City of Stone. Find Laurel friend Stefan. He can help us. Laurel trusts him, likes him. I will meet you in Vestir, Laurel friend. Ooh, the story is picking up. Time to go back to the cathedral. Did you hear that someone actually escaped? Please, from the I'm looking for Dame Feta. She was with the knights protecting the cathedral district during the attack. We're still sorting this all out.
Ah, Duluth. Our friend returns. But where are Laurel and Free? Stay your weapons. I bear a message from Archdruid Orlaith. Very well then. Speak. Bring the sower to the Temple of Iphalon. If you refuse, Orlaith will complete the prophecy with the blood of her prisoners. You wouldn't dare. Archdruid Orlaith will not be denied. Don't make her wait long. Oh, uh, you need some better security if that could happen. Damn Orlaith and her fire song. They took townsfolk prisoner before they fled, but we weren't sure why. Now we know. She plans to use them as sacrifices. Damn her eyes. Wait, where are Laurel and Free? Didn't you bring them back with you? Laurel, captured? Is there no end to this outrage? Our own forces are still recovering from the siege of Vastir, but even at full strength, we'd be hard-pressed to assault the Fire Song on their island. What of Free? Did the spirit return with you? Visions and prophecies, that's what started this chaos. If Orlaith can't get the sower, she'll use the blood of Laurel and my people to make herself the Druid King. Tell me you found something. Give me a reason to hope. I am in sore need of it. A guardian? You bring mixed tidings, friend. I can't bear the thought of Laurel and Firesong hands, but... If Free can help us defeat Archdruid Orlaith, I'll swear my house and life to the cause. Thank you. Perhaps we're not helpless after all. The Firesong took captives during the attack on Vastir. And they have Druid Laurel. I must protect my people, but I can't trade one life for another. Even many others. Unless... Yes, we give Archdruid Orlaith exactly what she demanded. Free is our secret weapon. Duleth will take Free to the Temple of Iphalon just as Archdruid Orlaith demanded. Then, while Free stalls her with this guardian you told me about, you and I rescue the captives from the Fire Song, including Laurel. We land on the far side of the island with my knights and free my people while Orlaith conducts her ritual. I'll arrange passage to Iphalon, find Free and get them to agree to the plan, then meet me at the docks. You'll be well rewarded, friend. Dulip will take Free to a House Monard Galleon. He'll escort them to Iphalon and protect them while we rescue Druid Laurel and the others. As for our transportation, we need different arrangements. I'll meet you at the docks soon. Ooh, we got all five now. I don't know how many of you guys actually play, uh... Tales of Tribute, but this is the new deck that they added, and I'm kind of interested in playing with it later on. So yeah, hopefully pretty good. Seems pretty nice. But yeah, with that said, we are five out of six of the story quest line, and then I think there's like a few epilogue quests, and then we got a lot of uh, side quests to do around the town and some like town quests like these two things right here so we're not done the story is almost over but it's actually very interesting and hopefully you guys are enjoying it and with that said i will see you guys in the next episode